Before we get started with this video, I just want to remind you that I am releasing an academic planner this year on the 17th of August, 5pm VST. This planner is everything I've ever looked for as a student and I hope that you like it. Hello, it's Ruby and today I'm going to be sharing with you an updated night routine. My night routine starts at just before five and I am usually at this point reading outside So then at five we go on a walk, I put on tights because I don't want to get bitten by any bugs and my mum and I today were dressed up like characters and Anne with an E because we're watching it together. Is that a strange thing to do to like dress up into something just to go on a walk? This shows you how unexciting things have been in our household, the fact that this is, you know, event of the day but it was really good fun and Martha was pretending to be Jerry the stable boy with this hay. Um, I didn't really, it didn't really make much sense to me either. So we went on a walk in the woods, my whole family. I had four letters to post, so I posted those. And the sky was so pretty, it was grey and it looked like it was going to rain. My dad actually spotted some ripe plums on the way back, so we had some of these and they were quite good, they were quite bitter. When we got back, my dad and I were going to go on a cycle ride, so just put my trainers on, got changed. And whilst I was waiting for my dad to be ready, I went and got my notebook out of my writing slope. I always store it in my writing slope. This is an Edwardian writing slope. It's what people used to use when they were writing when traveling. So this is the notebook I use for all of my fun, creative writing, short stories. I like to write a short story every day. So that's what I was doing here. And then when my dad was ready, we went out on the bike. We decided to go on a cross-country kind of trail this day. It wasn't on the road, it was through some fields, which was really nice. When we got back, I went and said hello to the dogs again. I swear I spend like six hours a day with the dogs. Uh, we we're actually going wild swimming tomorrow, so I had to try on this wetsuit that I had when I was younger. and. It was kind of tight on the shoulders, not so bad that I probably couldn't wear it tomorrow, but it wasn't that comfortable. So then after the walk and the cycle ride, I like to do some admin tasks for about an hour, just getting all of those things done that I needed to get done at some point, and then I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the night. So this particular day was a Tuesday, and every Tuesday evening my grandparents come round for dinner, so um, yeah, today we had like a roast dinner. After my grandparents left, my mum and I like to watch Anne with an E. We like to watch this every evening. We usually watch one episode an evening. It's the new show that we've been watching together and I'm loving re-watching it because this is my favorite show. Then when we're finished, we go upstairs. My dad every single day brings up the waters and I will go do my skincare routine. So I basically just use the Milky Jelly Cleanser from Glossier, which is really, really good. I would really recommend it and I wash that off with cold water. Sometimes I will have a more in-depth skincare routine, but that's the thing that I do every night. Then take out my contact lenses. Brush my teeth, of course. And because it's me, I read while brushing my teeth. So I'm reading Anne of Avonlea here. I like to read a few books at once. So I'm reading Far From Landing Crowd, but I'm also reading Anne of Avonlea. I don't know what this weird pose was, but obviously I'm excited to be reading Anne of Avonlea. Then when I get back in my room, I like to tidy it up just so it's nice and clean for the next day. I also close my window because I 
always regret leaving it open. The wind ends up blowing something off and then it wakes me up in the middle of the night. I will also put on my fairy lights and then I like to braid my hair before bed if I don't have a shower. So this particular day I have my shower in the morning and I didn't need to wash my hair. I also put on this Glossier Balm.com. This is really good and also a body butter from the body shop just on my elbows. Then I go downstairs to say goodnight to the dogs. Poor Lola hasn't been feeling very well today, so she's very, very calm. On evenings that my grandparents aren't over, I will probably watch an episode of something or watch a YouTube video, usually The Simpsons. And then I will take out my iPad to just read through the headlines of the New York Times. I don't do this for very long, maybe like five to ten minutes. And I will also do a crossword from the New York Times. Um, so this particular day I did the full Wednesday crossword as opposed to the mini one. And then I will read before bed, always the last thing I do. I like to spray this pillow mist put on this hand cream. It's very important to have hand cream at the moment because our hands can get very chapped. I will also drink about half of my water bottle and then I will turn off the light and go to sleep. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a productive week.